Hey guys, welcome back to another review on the B&D Bricks channel. Today I've got my review of the LEGO Star Wars 501st Legion Jet Trooper from the LEGO Star Wars 501st Legion Clone Troopers Le LEGO set, more aptly named the Battle Pack by the fans. So without further ado, let's get into the review. I'll be using the category system like I have in the past. Starting off the first category of design, we'll be starting with the helmet. So this is a different helmet from the normal 501st Legion Clone Trooper. It's got where the 501st Legion Clone Trooper would have markings going down the front. This clone trooper has markings on the sides that are making sort of a, well, it's sort of a, like an upside down, um, like triangle shape, sort of, with a little dip in it. Um, along with an upside, well, I guess not upside down, but it's just a triangle shape. Then we've got the little red uh, marking on the top, which you also see, I believe, on the jet troopers from the First Order, which is cool. Little red markings on the front of the like, breathing bits, and a blue bit on the side of the clone helmet, which is cool, because we haven't seen that before. I think those are ventilation ducts on the side or whatever, but that's cool. Um, but going around to the back, you can see it's just the plain white one because LEGO doesn't do that really, but whatever. Um, then he's got some back printing, but it's covered up by a blue jetpack, which is really awesome. I'm so glad to have this blue jetpack. I think that it's great. It's the same mold we've seen for stuff like the Mandalorians, but it's fine. He's got blue arms, which I actually have considered transplanting onto one of my 501st Legion troopers because I think that it'll look cool. Um, and then blue markings on the top of the, where is, the, what is that called? Uh, on top of the chest, along with blue markings on the leg. So that's pretty cool. And the head is the same clone trooper head we see on the normal 501st Legion clone troopers, which is really cool. Um, overall for design and accuracy, I'm going to have to go ahead and give this minifigure a 2 out of 2. Actually, I'll give it a 1 out of 2. This minifigure is a 1 out of 2 for design and accuracy, mostly because I think it's very, very well designed, but I don't remember actually ever seeing these guys, so I don't care too much about them, honestly. I'd rather have just another 501st trooper in the battle pack. But I do think that it's great to have a couple of these, because I think that they're very cool, but I just don't want that many of them. Um, and I do really like the Jet Trooper designs of the Jet Troopers in like Battlefront 2, the modern one. So I really wish they would make some of those. I know Clone Army Customs has one that I do kind of want to get. But uh, yeah, so one out of two. On to the accessories category. So unlike the other 501st Clone Troopers, this minifigure comes with a jetpack, which I talked about before, which is kind of as an accessory in my book. So this jetpack is awesome. The blue jetpack, I'm so glad to have it. I think it's great. And really, it's the whole reason that this trooper exists, so it can be a jet trooper, so I'm glad about that. And then the blaster, which is always nice to see, not a stud shooter, so I'm glad to have that. So overall, for accessories, I'm going to have to give it a 2 out of 2. I think that it's very, very good accessories-wise. So that's a 3 out of 4 so far. Onto the value category, so this minifigure is going to cost you around the same as a normal 501st uh, Legion Clone Trooper if you're going to get it off of eBay or another secondhand site, but if you get it off of Bricklink, you can get it, I think, slightly more than the normal one, which is, this is about 5 $6 on Bricklink, about 8 $10 on eBay. So, this minifigure for value on eBay, I'd say probably no, because I don't really want to army build these guys, um, and not on Bricklink either, because at that point I might as well just be going and buying out... Um, like an actual set. Um, however, for this minifigure specifically, because there's only one of them in each set, I would say buying them. If you really, really want an army of these guys, you should buy them. Don't worry about buying the sets. If, unless you want the 501st Legion Clone Troopers as well, then buy the sets. But if you just want these guys, buy them off of Bricklink so you can get them for pretty cheap. The only struggle with that is trying to find a seller who sells more than one of them so you can bundle shipping. On to the does it hold up slash, like, is it good compared to other minifigures um, and past ones um, category. So we've never had another 501st Legion Jet Trooper, but compared to other iterations of the Clone Troopers, um, I do think that this is good. This is the same sort of change that we saw with the normal 501st Clone Troopers and the 187th ones and the 212 ones that are coming out later this year. Um, but it's got the, the the face is more like it's, it's smaller. I don't know exactly what the best way to say it, but like if you look at it from down, it looks kind of like smaller to me. I don't know, but I do think that looks very good. This, the cheap printing is nice. I think that the new helmet mold is great. Um, although this isn't really new, we saw it with Rex, I think, but I think it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna probably for this. Does it hold up? Obviously, it holds up to modern minifigures. It's got great printing. Um, unfortunately, no arm printing, but you can't really expect that too much. That's more like icing on the cake. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it um, a one out of two. I think that it definitely does hold up, and I think that it's probably the best one, and maybe the only one of these minifigures we'll ever see. But I think that that's for a good reason. We don't really need another one, and I don't really want another one. So yeah. That's going to be a 1 out of 2. So that brings the total for us up to, I believe, 5 out of 6. Sorry, that would actually make it 4 out of 6, but I just realized that I forgot to rank to give a, um, a ranking for the value category. So that's going to be a 2 out of 2. I think it's great for getting it. So that's going to be a total of not 4 out of 6, but of 6 out of 8. And then onto my opinion, this minifigure, surprisingly, 
is a two out of two. I think that this is a perfect minifigure, honestly, in my opinion. I think that it's it's great. Other than arm printing, there's not too much that could be added, but I don't feel like it needs arm printing. It doesn't have detailing on the sides anyway, so it doesn't really need it. Uh, the detail is all great. I love the printing on it. Uh, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the minifigure, I do really like the printing, and it, it bumps it up to me for me. Even I'm surprised I didn't even give the 500 First Legion Clone Trooper two out of two, but this is a two out of two for me. So that's going to bring the total up to a 8 out of 10, which is, is pretty dang good. Um, I would definitely recommend picking up a 500 first battle pack so you can get those two minifigures. I just reviewed the last one. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check that out. But definitely pick up one of these sets if you haven't already, um, especially since they're probably going to retire at the end of the year. So, yep, definitely do that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have another clone review out later today. I'm going to try to get out like four today and maybe a, uh, an actual set review. So keep, keep posted for that. I'll see you guys later.